Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video and the subsequent several videos, we will be looking at advanced pivot table techniques and tricks. The very first technique that I have for you is one slicer, two pivots. While it does say one slicer and two pivots, you can literally use this technique for one slicer, many, many pivots. Let's get into Excel file here. Uh, you can just check the video description to download a sample copy of all the files that are used throughout the video series and uh, practice the technique while you are watching the video. So here I have some sample data with uh, fictional made up sales information. We have month, salesperson, region, product and some numbers associated with the combinations. Let's go ahead and insert a pivot table first. Let us say we want to look at the monthly trend of sales. So we'll take a month and put it into the row area here. Now automatically Excel would take a month field which has dates and depending on which version of Excel you are using, uh, I happen to be using Excel 365 so which is kind of the latest version of Excel. It would add a subsequent derivated fields from the month so it will add year, quarter and month information. This is kind of a unrelated tip here, but uh, I, I, I think you might find this useful uh, for some of your work. And then let's add uh, something like net sales to look at the total sales trend. Now we are looking at individual year, we could go down to quarter level. Let's not get into quarter, so let's take a look at monthly sales trend. That is how the information is. And this is for all the products. So maybe you are only interested in one of the products that you sell, not all the products. So we could right click on product and add as a slicer. And uh, this is when you will have a slicer using which you can drill down and look at an individual product sale. So I could look at super glue and see what is the trend that is exhibited by super glue as such. All good. Now let us add a, another pivot table this will look at um, salesperson related information so we will have a, a pivot table i was a little quick here let's go ahead and do this once again insert pivot table uh, now instead of new worksheet i'll select existing worksheet and i will place it underneath our current work uh, current pivot table not underneath actually i'll just put it here uh, sideways so we can see everything so this way we will have two pivot tables. One is this and then another pivot table area here where I can construct my salesperson level focus. So I will add salesperson and then uh, let's take a look at net sales and profit loss for individual salespersons. Now for these salespersons, this is also showing all products. What if I wanted to drill down them to a single product? Now we do already have a slicer here, but this slicer currently is talking only to that pivot table. So how do I make this slicer talk to that pivot table as well? Simple, right click on the slicer and you will select report connections. From here you can specify what pivot tables it should talk to. Now you could see that while there are only two pivot tables, there is four more pivot tables. These are actually hidden in a separate worksheet. So we will not bother about that. On sheet two, which is our worksheet here, we do have two pivot tables and this slicer is currently connected to that pivot table. So if I click pivot table seven and click OK, you will see that instantly this pivot table also kind of changes and both of them are now responding to super glue. I can change to rapid zoom or fast car and you can see that both sets of numbers will change. I can multi-select using click and drag and both tables will also change. So this is how you can connect a single slicer to multiple pivot tables. You could really have multiple slicers each connected to multiple pivot tables as well. Here is one bonus trick before we wind up, which is when you went to report connections, we were kind of flummoxed or confused with all these pivot tables. Everything is named in a homogeneous manner like pivot table one, pivot table two, three, four, like that. So you wouldn't really know which tables are needed for connection. A simple technique is you can select any cell in the pivot table, go to pivot table, analyze ribbon, and from the top area here, you can rename the pivot. So rather than saying pivot table five, I will call this as monthly trend. That's the pivot table name. 
and this pivot table I will name it as uh, salesperson report. This way, when I go to report connections, I would need to simply remember the table pivot table names and then connect that. So, using a pivot table name is an excellent idea when you have multiple pivot tables each doing their own thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe and share this video with uh, your colleagues or friends who may use uh, such information to learn more and be good with pivot tables. I'll talk to you again in the next video where we will look at another advanced pivot table technique. Thanks. Bye-bye.